Hey, what's up everyone? <clears throat> it's Battle World time. I'm sure probably right before this you've seen like a big time lapse or something of me grinding away at the Mutt and uh, Jet Ragon and a few other things just to start collecting some of those legendary, uh, what are they called, uh, schematics. Well, as you can see, my inventory, we finally got one. And really the one that I've been looking forward to the most. Obviously, I still want the one, I still want the rocket launcher from Jet Ragon, but from the Mutt, we get the assault rifle schematic four. And if we look in my box here, actually, let me even go over to the mining base. We can actually quantify how many raids I've done because we can see like all of the mutts that I've collected. So if you can see here, um, where are they? Okay, <laughs> yeah, here they are. So there's one, two, three, four in the base, and then so that's seven, 13, 19, 20. So I've done a total of 20 mutt raids, and after my 20th one is when I got the legendary schematic, and it's somewhat similar. Hello, it's somewhat similar to the uh, the jet jet ragons. You can see a little a little bit less. I've got three, seven, <clears throat> twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. So I've done like 16 of these. I still haven't gotten the legendary for that one, the rocket launcher. Um, but yeah, okay. It is time to make the legendary assault rifle. And I'm very curious. Oh, I'm very curious to how much damage this bad boy is going to do. So let's go ahead and cancel these bad boys. And here we go. Assault rifle. Where's my legendary? Legendary. Oh, I need more refined ingots. Okay, good to know. I need more refined ingots. Do I have... Okay, I have a couple. I don't know if, if I'll have enough, though. How many How many more do I need of the refined? Oh, no. That's good. Two. I went two over. Okay. That, see, that's a... Yeah. That's a lot of refined ingots, but... I mean, what else are we going to use it for, right? All right, buddy boy. You want to help me make this? This is going to... Okay, that's going to take a... A minute and a half so you know what while we're doing that we could just put the schematic away put, the, put that in there I'll put that in there okay so since we're kind of nearer to the end of the game you guys have been seeing more and more like time lapses because there's a lot of things that I'm doing that I don't want to record they just take a while things like breeding for uh, like better pals with like better passive skills uh, things like that so I think over here, they should be done, right? I think they should be done. These are both mutts, and I tried for the first. Okay, so this is just my first time. I tried breeding for skills. Let's see what happens. Do did, was I successful in getting something cool? Diet. Okay, so it's a diet lover and workaholic. That's what I wanted, but I didn't want unstable. Let's see what we get with this one. That one's terrible. Okay. We got one good one. Let me see. I forgot what unstable does. I'm hoping it, it doesn't decrease work. You know what? That sucks, but that's fine. Workaholic. See, but actually, these cancel each other out. So essentially, I just got a normal one. Okay, see, that's kind of a shame. So I tried to... So that's like my first attempt at breeding. And again, a lot of this, I'm not going to do this, you know, because it just takes a while. Um, I Here's the thing. I'm probably going to continue breeding for better mutts only because I don't need them to be a high level to work. But with things like the uh, Jet Ragons, I don't know if I want to breed for like a perfect one only because they're I'm using them for attacks, right? But I don't want to spend the time to get them from level 1 to 50. So I'm cool with the mutts. I don't know if I'm going to do much with the Jet Ragons. Honestly, for the Jet Ragons, I might just farm them so I can grab a level 50 with decent st uh, like with decent uh, passive skills instead of trying to breed for it like you know I'll give you guys an example okay so all of the ones that I did I got on camera in the time lapse except I did a single raid not on camera and of course I got something pretty good I got look at this divine dragon legend and swift so this is the only one that I got off camera funny enough but yeah, so this is going to be specifically my flyer. I have muscle, which is the muscle head, which is good for attack. And then I have a couple of, like, decent ones with, like, a blood of dragon. That's good because it's mostly dragon attacks. Really body. It's a defense. 
So the ones that I got on me are the ones that are actually good. And then I've got more that these are kind of like, yeah, I mean, they're not like great. Like Botanical Barrier, like, okay, cool. Whatever, you know. But yeah, so this is the normal. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you guys the difference between a Swift and a non-Swift Jetragon. Real quick. Are you, bro. Yo, Anubis, what are you doing, bro? Okay, let's go ahead and finish the Assault Rifle. Let me show you the difference between the two, okay? Let me put my Ice Armor on. So, I've been doing also a lot of Frost Stallion raids. Let me show you why having a Nimble is so cool, specifically in these raids. So, watch this. So, this is the normal grind. I come here, I spawn right here. Frost Stallion is right over that hill, right? Right over this hill. Let's pull out muscle here. Let's just say I want to get across. This is what happens. So I try to run, 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 try to go as high as possible so I get the, you know, max gliding. And then I come down. And I barely clear the mountain. I basically have to hit right here and then I have to wait and I have to go back up. That's what I've been doing basically all this time. You know, because I haven't gotten a swift one yet. Now, let me show you guys a swift swift jet ragon and show you guys why i was kind of so excited it might like on screen it's not gonna look like it's crazy amount faster but it's noticeably different watch this so now we go up in the air and i actually even screwed up the movement right there i could have darted in a better line homie clears the cliff and actually again i messed up because i went in like a, a wrong angle but basically, I don't get stuck down there. Let me try that one more time just to prove to you guys because I feel bad because I actually screwed up that angle pretty good. And I think I started the flight off a little early. So let's try that one more time. So yeah, I am very happy I got the nimble boy. That helps a lot. All right, one more time. This time I'm going to go in the proper direction. Here we go. And you'll be able to see that pretty much clear the... Like I clear it. Look at this. Yeah, I clear the mountain. And that's the power of having a swift one. Here's the Frost Alien. Should we try to fight him one time? Do you guys want to fight him one time? Because the last time we fought him, we actually had to cheese him out because I wasn't strong enough. Dude, I can beat this homie up now. I mean, it still takes a minute, obviously. It's still a legendary, but... It's much easier than before now. You know, I can just hit him up just like this. Hit him with a few of these. I switch over to Muscle here. Which is even stronger because he has that, you know, that attack buff. And I guess quick tip, which might seem a little obvious, but if you don't know, keep multiple jet ragons on you because you can basically just infinitely juggle them, which is absolutely broken. For a while, I just kept one dragon on me, and I'm like, yeah, and then I switched. Why? Just keep four. I know it kind of sucks that you can't use your favorite pals, but if we're talking about just collecting legendaries here, having four of these jets is absolutely disgusting okay so now we go to the next one and i have four on me along with the new so i'm just gonna keep juggling this guy i won't get him all the way there i don't think yeah keep juggling the homie he basically doesn't even get a chance to attack you I missed a bunch of those but that's okay you can even if you want to go try hard you can bring him to a cliff to try to get some damage on him maybe i'll show maybe i'll show that to you guys this video Kind of like a couple of tips that I learned. Okay, so we're out of these things. And this is to the point now where... Okay, so we, we need to do a little bit more damage. You can pull out your woo, pull out your rocket launcher a little bit. Do some more damage. Dang. You know, try to make him not attack you too much. Okay, that needs to not happen. And I'll you know what? I'll show you guys a quick tip. Let's go. We'll go do a one more Jet Ragon raid live and i'll show you guys a little another kind of cheese with a cliff you can do a good amount of damage if you manage to get them to fall off a cliff a certain way which is nice but yeah this frost is still gonna take a minute kind of no matter what you do to be honest i mean it's, it's a strong pal you know Ow. And we'll collect this while we're at it it might be even smart i think swift is the first one i used right you know what, let's grab Swift, block that, block the path right there. Woo. Well, that's going to hit me, I think, no matter what I do. 
So let's go ahead and get out of harm's way here. Okay, and throw it down there. And we can still use the original cheese method of just kind of coming up here. None two can fight over there. But I'm just going to wait until we get the riding back here. Let's let them do their thing. Yeah, so long story short, you can basically check the pal off the cliff to do a couple thousand damage to kind of quickly get them. This one's a little harder because you have to get them all the way over there. And the cliff isn't... It's kind of like a slope, so you have to, you have to basically make them ragdoll you have to get under them and like kind of shoot them upwards that's really hard to do because the ragdoll physics is pretty unpredictable but it's a little easier with the jet ragon because the cliff you can get a part of the cliff that's pretty straight down all right let's go ahead and jump back on what's good baby hit you with a couple more of these and hey maybe if we get that youtube luck we can grab the legendary which I, actually i don't even know which one this guy has but he has to have a legendary schematic of some sort, right? Maybe the Frost Palmetto one? That's what I'm... It's a complete guess. I'm not sure, but that's what would make sense to me. But I guess you never know. Okay, let's grab uh, D-Blood, which is our Dragon Blood one. Yeah, no, you're not doing that. And I think we should be able to get him low enough so we can start some catch attempts here. Okay. Oh, and we gotta go back to grab our rifle, too. Can't forget about that kind of what we started off the episode to do. Kind of, we got a little distracted, but... Okay. Beat him up, beat him up. Okay. A little more, a little more. Can we throw a ball yet? No? Okay. Apparently we need a little bit more damage here. This Burly... I think you should have yourself. Okay. Alright, this should be enough damage though after this. Oop, I almost missed that. Where'd he go? There we go. Alright, hit him with this, and then we should be good to catch. There we go. Alright, yep. There we go. That's what we're looking for here. Let's grab Swift. Now we just sit here, throw some balls, you can come back. Oh, hello? Swift, I didn't bring you out. Alright, come on, man. Stay in the ball for me. And I also, during this whole time, I also grinded away at some Thal Fluid to get some more legendary spheres, which is also nice. We got plenty of, ow, we got plenty of legendary spheres to check around. Hopefully this doesn't take too many, but... You never know. Sometimes I catch them on the first three balls. Sometimes I have to sit here and throw 30. There's my phone again. I should really turn off that sound, shouldn't I? Beak. I'll just sit here and try to... Oh, that one hit? I'm nasty with it. How about you don't try to hurt me while I try to enslave you, please? Alright, come on, man. This is now getting a little ridiculous. A little ridiculous. I'm on camera. Why, Why you gotta do this to me while I'm on camera? The past like three times, I've caught him in the first ball or two. Alright. Please? There we go. Okay. Maybe? Maybe we get something cool? Cold-blooded? No. Nothing. Okay. Well, there's another... The, our ninth Frost Dalian, so one more. We can get that juicy, juicy bonus, which we don't really need since we're already level 50, but... Alright, we just gotta wait for a little stamina bar... Come on, stay in the bar, stay in the bar. All right, let's head back home. Let's go ahead and... I'm hoping Anubis finished the gun. Hopefully, hopefully. I'll take a quick sleep. Then maybe we'll go do one more jet rigging. Okay, three quarters of the way. Go to sleep, finish it in the morning, and then we'll head out and do one more raid. And... Maybe get the legendary launcher. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. All right, can, can you finish this up for me, please? How much ammo do I got? Okay, I could probably grab a little bit more ammo. Just since I'll be shooting it a bunch, I want to show it off. Uh, um, a couple of other minor things I did. I rearranged some of the chests. So these are more of my personal chests. Over here I have my tools. Then I have my accessories. And then in this one I have my armor. Here's my personal, so my balls and my ammo that I actually use. 
And over here, I expanded my schematics. Here's more of my ammo. Kind of emptied these out. Um, I rearranged some of the workstations so they're not so close to the pass can actually get to them. I noticed that Anubis wasn't making his way to it because things were blocked. So I have the weapons one here, two productions, and the sphere over here now. I think... Oh, I built this thing. Um, for the eggs, but I don't really know. I just wanted to get the mutt eggs done a little faster. How's it looking? Okay, almost done on him. Can I... Okay, I need 16 more, so not even close. Let's take a look at the damage. So we have a 320 attack. Let's see. I also have a bit more gold now. I sold a bunch of nails. Bought some more ammo. Can we help him out? I don't think us helping does all that much. Why not give it a whirl? And also let's put our... Legendary heat resistant Hal armor because we're gonna go to the jet ragon. But man, this should be juicy. I'm hoping this is juicy. Maybe I should really get like a high level Grizzbolt. Maybe maybe let's grab a high level Grizzbolt while we're out. All right, here we go. Assault rifle, 560. Okay, so like under double, but I mean under double. That's pretty good. You know what, we'll bring both assault rifles, and let's see the difference in damage. I think that could be pretty cool. Also, do we have, let's sort by pound number, do we have a Grizzbolt, like a high-level Grizzbolt that I can grab? 35, no, okay, we'll have to grab a high-level Grizzbolt then. Yeah, again, also with the Swift, like, watch me clear this mountain really quickly. What time is it? I gotta make sure. I do gotta go to class later. Swift. Alright, T-Swift, come over here. Alright, watch me just clear this mountain, bro. Watch this. Usually, I would fall just about right here. But instead, with Swift, I can kind of clear it and go all the way over here. Now, I, obviously, I don't make it all the way there. But it saves me almost, I think, one entire flight. Because this area, I can just kind of peruse through. And then I go back in the air over this thing. And I'm at the fight. So, it's two flights instead of three flights, which, you know, hey. We take those. Okay, let me show you the little cheese. Um, so, what you want to do, obviously, you, you already need a jet ragon for this. You could technically do it with a rocket launcher, but it's so hard with it. You see this little area where there's actually a pretty steep drop-off? You don't want to do it here because he'd only fall two feet and nothing will happen. You could also do it over here, too. This might actually be better over here because you have, like, a kind of a bigger area, but you would need to kind of get him to come over here yeah, where'd he go okay so let's hit him with let's hit him with something so he starts following all right come over here please let's see if we can get him to do it yeah so this first one here it's not out of his range so it's much easier but you know what for the sake of the video see again come on bro hey yes this way come I'll shoot one rocket at him. He's going to be knocked out for a moment, but... All right, come on. I need you to come near the cliff. I actually haven't done over here very often. See, no. Okay, you know what? We might have to bring him to my original area because this guy seems to like over here. So, hey, come, come here. So, you guys bring him over here to this cliff. All right, so you got to hit him. And now, you literally just nudge him over using the jet ragon. And again, you want to make sure to try to get him on the part where there's like that big fall. Right there. Look at that. Boom. 3,000 damage off of that. Now, it's not going to kill him completely, but, you know, 3,000, it saves you a minute or two. Okay. Let's bring out the assault rifle. 20. Oh, okay. So, this one holds more ammo, too. All right. So, let's do the 20. So that's four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five. Okay. Let's grab the 30. So this is the big one. Seven? Yeah, again, so about a double increase in damage, which is pretty crazy, actually. Let's see what headshots do. Let's see if we can get them to stay still. Okay, so like six, seven, six, seven. Now with the big 30. Oh, 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 I gotta make sure I also don't die. I need them to stand still. Still haven't shot him in the head. Yeah, so instead of... Now we do thir 11 to 13 to the head. With the legendary. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. They're actually getting pretty low. Let's go ahead and throw some legendary spheres at him. 
Our T Swift come back. Let's try to capture him. Hey, maybe again, maybe we get the legend. Oops. Maybe we get the legendary. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I do need the legendary lock rocket launcher. Yeah. So right now. I'm kind of done farming the mutts because I don't really need to. I have plenty of them to breed. Jet Ragon, I'm going to keep having to do this for until I get it, though. Heated body, not really that useful. No schematic, okay. Well, anyway, that's an example of kind of me coming over. That's usually what, how I farm these guys is I grab a couple... Of, I grab a couple of jet guns that I already have. That's the thing is, if this is if, you're, if it's your first time, it's not as useful, right? Because you need one of these to knock them. But so this is more of a guide on how to farm him after you defeated him the first time. But yeah, once you do that, it's pretty easy. Knock him over, throw him off the cliff. That's three, four. If you get a really good one, you can do like four K damage. You juggle him a few times, and honestly, he's pretty easy to get. Frost Alien takes a little longer, and again, you could do the same thing with the Cliff Method, but it's just much more work, and I think for that one, it might not even be worth it. Um, but yeah. Let's put some stuff away here. Don't need those. But yeah, that's kind of what I've been working on here. I'll probably, you know, come back and do another little recording session once I have something else legendary to craft but yeah man i am so excited we can actually put the other assault rifle away now because we do we don't really need this anymore stick that in there we're just gonna need the legendary now look at this dude that's so sick you know what i'm curious to see what it does to like just like a mid-level pal right let's just go out oh i probably went to the wrong place i have to switch armor Okay, you know, some of the things over here we struggled with for a while. All right, Mammo Crest, you, 34. Oh, bro, look at that. A level 43 giant Crest basically one-clipped him. Really? All right, bro. Come on, you know you want, it's 50%. All right, we should, and we'll also go shoot up some of these too. All right, one, that's it, right? That's it? No way, bro. No way. Alright, you can hold that for me. I don't want to shoot these guys until I catch this one. Are you serious, bro? Yeah. Camera unlucky, bro. I've actually... I can't complain because I've had extremely decent catch rates off camera. Alright, there we go. Right, let's see one of these homies. 37? Can I one clip? I could probably one clip you guys. Yeah. Not, e not even a one clip. I can half clip. A half clip kills the guy. What about you, Sabalix? Oh, yeah, and even if I hit him in the head, it's even stronger. Okay, my Gyrogon killed him before I could even try and catch. So, I guess moral of the story is this assault rifle is nasty, bro. It's nasty. Let's go to let's go to the mining base. We can probably grab a few things from here. Um Okay, we have like 5k. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Do max, cancel it, grab the stuff. The other thing that I did, which again, I don't know how I'm gonna do these these episodes, but I went ahead and made that like memory loss juice, which basically resets your stats. So I took all of the stats that I put into stamina, attack, and defense, and work speed, very dumb. I took those out and put them just in the health and weight. So I have the same amount of weight, but I have a lot more health now, which is nice. I'm gonna put these. My lean, what are you doing, bro? Stick these in here. Oopsies. Okay. How are. So we got some refined ingots, palmetto ingots. We could probably make. So I wanna always make a sum ingots for the sake of having nails to sell. Let's make like 600 of those. Palmetto ingots, refined metal ingots. Okay. We'll stick the rest in... We'll, we'll just keep the rest of the ore for now and just decide later when we need it. Oh, man. Yeah, and I've just been slowly grinding away, so I've been getting more fragments. You know, I have plenty of stone, so I'm trying to make as many fragments as I can. Um, because I'm breeding a little bit more nowadays, I've got a cow and a chicken just, like, casually roaming... Now, I'm not, like, mega farming, but I'm farming a little bit, just trying to get some rolling. I think 
Um, later, I might actually put like seven cows in here and just like hard farm these. How much do I have so far? See, 180. It might actually be a good idea for right now because they're going to come over and eat the stuff. How much nails? The nails are almost done. I'm working on some cement right now. Let's make some cakes while we're at it. 23. Make sure that we can use them while they don't eat. But yeah, the juice that I'm talking about is memory wiping juice right here. So I had to go to the, you know, the faraway islands to collect more beautiful flowers, a little bit more pal fluid, and we were able to make those. Let's go ahead. What am I missing to repair? Okay, we'll repair that. Oh, I need refine more refining. It's okay. What? Yeah. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to end this video off here. Just kind of a small update. I'm just going to keep grinding away at those schematics and, uh... The one big thing we have to do left, obviously, other than get through schematics, is we, we have one more base slot, right? We have our main base, we have our mining base, and there's one more base that I want to make. And I don't know what to do with this base. I don't know if I should... I, it, see, sulfur and crystal are not that important. Sulfur, the only thing that I need it for is lo rocket launcher ammo, but I don't really use the rocket launcher that much. I honestly use it for panic situations when I need to something to ragdoll. But the assault rifle now is going to be completely nasty. Um... So I don't really know what to do. I might make it just like a base just like this one out here. But maybe focus on planting and ranches instead of like the... Because here it's kind of production. Maybe I'll make that one for ranching and planting. I don't really know. But that's the one thing that we do that I have in my plan in my brain. Is we have to make one more base and we have to make it something cool. Maybe I could put it like over here. I don't know. Just make it something nasty. Um, but we'll do something. But for future, guys. So. Nice. Thanks for watching.